As we saw earlier, aldehydes are carbonyl compounds that have a hydrogen bonded to the carbonyl carbon. As with the carboxylic acid derivatives, the carbonyl carbon is always the first carbon in the carbon chain for aldehydes. We still use the same nomenclature system that we've used for the carboxylic acid derivatives. We change the suffix from an E for a hydrocarbon to AL for an aldehyde. In this first example, we have a three carbon chain with a bromine substituent on the second carbon. We would name this compound 2-bromopropanal. In this second example, we have a four carbon chain with the methyl substituent on the third carbon if we start counting from the carbonyl carbon. The name for this compound would be 3-methylbutanal. There are a few compounds that have common names for aldehydes. For example, the one carbon aldehyde methanal is more commonly known as formaldehyde. The two carbon aldehyde ethanal is more commonly known as acetaldehyde. Ketones are a type of carbonyl compound that has the carbonyl group in the middle of the carbon chain somewhere. That means that they are different from the other carbonyl compounds in that we will need to indicate the location of the carbonyl carbon in the carbon chain. We still use the same substituent, prefix, infix, suffix naming system that we've used for all the other carbonyl compounds. We change the suffix for ketones from an E for hydrocarbons to an O-N-E or ON for ketones. As with other functional groups that needed a number to locate the functional group, we will give the carbonyl carbon the lowest possible number in the carbon chain. The exception to needing a number for the carbonyl carbon is if the carbonyl group is part of a ring structure. By definition, the carbonyl carbon in the ring will always be the first carbon in the ring. In this first example, we have a three carbon ketone with the carbonyl group in the second of the three carbon chain. We would name this propanone, and in this case, we do not need a number because the only location in the middle of the ring for the carbonyl group is on the second carbon. A common name for propanone would be acetone. In this second compound, we have a cyclohexane ring with one of the carbons in the ring being a carbonyl carbon, which is double bonded to an oxygen. We also have a methyl substituent next to the carbonyl carbon in the ring. If we start numbering at the carbonyl carbon as one, the methyl group would be on carbon number two in the ring. We would name this compound 2-methylcyclohexanone, and again, we do not need the number to indicate where the carbonyl carbon is. In this third example, we have an eight carbon chain. That means it's going to have the prefix oct. We can count from either side to see which direction will give us the lower number for the carbonyl group. And we find that counting from left to right gives us the carbonyl group on the fourth carbon. We also have a methyl substituent then that would now be on the seventh carbon. We would name this ketone 7-methyl-4-octanone.